This video will show you how to install Boost Auto Parts Dual Function 2.0 kit on the 4th Gen Dodge Ram trucks. This video will show you how to install everything behind the door panel as well as the door panel removal later on in the video. If you have a 4th Gen Dodge Ram tow mirror onto an older gen truck, please reference a separate Boost Auto Parts video. Our version 2.0 kit will be a full brightness running light with a fully functioning on off turn signal. If you're looking for a dim running light with a bright turn signal, you will want to reference our website and find our Dual Function 1.0 kit. To unplug the mirror connector, it goes into this module here. Specifically, we're going to be unplugging the black connector. This is the same on the driver and the passenger side. So to do that, you'll just depress the tab and it'll pull straight out. Now, the colors will vary between manufacturer as well as side to side, so you should not go off the wire color. What you should do is locate the black connector on both the driver and the passenger side. Put the latch here at the top. You're always going to be working with the wire in the top row, second from the right. So it's going to be this wire right here. Here we're installing the kit off of the truck for video purposes, but this must be done on the truck in order to install the module properly. Now that you have that black connector, you're going to go ahead and cut this harness back a little bit. Be sure not to cut any wires. You just want to cut the, what the harness is wrapped in. So if it's wrapped in any tape or insulation, you'll just go ahead and cut it back about three or four inches here just so you have some more room to work with. And then just go ahead and pull that insulation back. Just like so. Next, you want to locate the wire in pin 9 in this black connector as shown here. Once you locate that wire, you'll go ahead and cut a few inches back on that wire there. Make sure you go off the pin location, not the wire color because wire colors will change. Once these are cut, you'll go ahead and strip each side back just a little bit there. Now you just want to locate the module and the adapter connector in your kit and just go ahead and plug the connector into the module there just like so. As you can see here this Boost Auto Parts module has four wires. Three wires are on the left side, one wire is on the right side. The one wire on the right side is your output which will go towards your front marker light there. The three wires on the left will be orange for your running light, blue for your signal light, and black for your ground. Be sure you're using the right wire for each application. Now you're going to go ahead and take this Boost Auto Parts module and go ahead and use the mirror side of that wire you had cut and stripped previously. You'll go ahead and insert that into the orange output wire on that module there and go ahead and just crimp that down. Now just go ahead and heat shrink that down. Now you just go ahead and take the blue signal input wire for the module and go ahead and add that to the wire you cut for the connector side, so the connector side of the wire that you stripped in pin 9. Just go ahead and crimp that down there. Now just go ahead and heat shrink that down. Now you're going to take the orange extension harness included in your Boost Auto kit here. Go ahead and disconnect the connectors and pull out the shorter wire. You'll use that on the mirror. We'll go ahead and use the longer wire a little later on. Without that short orange wire, you'll just go ahead and pull off the end of that pre-stripped wire there. And go ahead and insert that orange short wire from our kit into the orange input wire on the Boost Auto Parts module and harness here. Go ahead and crimp that down. Now you just go ahead and heat shrink that down. Now you just go ahead and T-tap onto the ground located in pin 10 of this black connector here. Use the included tap, just go ahead and clamp it on there, squeeze and make sure it clicks. If you can't get it with your hands, you can use some pliers to go ahead and squeeze that down until it clicks there. Now just go ahead and use the disconnect connector on the module and adapter here. Just go ahead and slide that onto the T-tap you installed on the ground wire of pin 10. Make sure the metal insert slides into the T-tap fully. You successfully tap the ground onto pin 10 here. Just note that for your application, you will not need to use this buck connector here. You can just go ahead and leave this alone. It is on there for other applications. Now that you have all this wired up, you can go ahead and just leave all these sitting along the harness here. Or you can just go ahead and tape or zip tie it up to the harness.
Now that you have everything wired up here, you can go ahead and take the long orange wire from your Boost Auto Kit, go ahead and plug that into the short one you already installed into that module harness. Now you can go ahead and view the rest of this video in order to wire that to the power. Go ahead and plug the black connector back into the module. At this point, you'll go ahead and just put the door panel back together and run the orange wire to a running light power feed. If you like more specifics on how to do this, continue watching this video. To start off with, you need to remove the six body clips around the door. There's one here. Down here, 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 and here. There's a T15 torch. Just loosen it up a little bit, and then you'll get a flat bladed screwdriver behind it. There'll be a little gap after you loosen it, and then you can just pull it straight out, just like so. And then you'll pop the back fastener out as well with the flat blade screwdriver. Just hold the door handle open and use a small pick or flat blade screwdriver to pry this cover off. And remove the Phillips head that was behind that dust cover. And you remove the dust cover over the mirrors. It's just held on with some body clips. You can just pull straight out and it'll come off. The door panel should just lift off. You just pull it straight up. Take note of the door lock. Make sure you don't bind on that. You do have electrical connections at the window switches, so be careful with those. Now you want to remove the clip here. You can just press on the side and that will come undone. Now you can just reach under the door switches with your hand and push up and you'll see it'll pop right up just like so and you'll just remove the switches by depressing the tab and pulling the connector out now for this last connector right here the latch is on the inside just go ahead and depress it this will pull straight out now you can set the door panel off to the side there are two t15 bolts holding this door boot on one here and one here you'll go ahead and remove them and then this door boot will just kind of come loose a little bit from the door over here boot on the door is held on with four tabs. There's two on top, one here and one here, and then two underneath, one here and here. You're going to want to use a flat blade screwdriver and just go ahead and push down and push up. And the entire thing will just come out. You want to fold the door in just ever so slightly so you can snake this out. So you fold the door in and it'll kind of come out just like so. Now you can unplug the connectors. There's a tab at the bottom. Just push it in and then the connectors will pull out the back. Just want to go ahead and remove this tape going towards that joint right over there and just use your hands carefully pull it all back I want to pop these two tabs off the plastic retainer off the metal bracket just gonna slide up and down run the orange wire through this white retainer right here just grab it on the other side and fish the excess through You'll stop right where the fusible link begins. I'm going to go ahead and pull the rubber boot off these two connectors. It sh should just be able to use your hands and it'll pull right back. Fish the orange wire through the rubber boot. You can do this by hand. It's sometimes easier if you tape it to a clo metal clothes hanger and run it through that way. But you can push it through by hand as we're going to show here. You'll just grab it on the other side and carefully loom it through. I'm going to take the orange wire and run it between this white body and the green connector. You'll see there's a little area you can just run it through, and you'll pull all of it through. The next step, you're going to actually fish it into the truck. You're going to go through this hole right here, and then you're going to come up under the dash, and you'll be able to see it pop through over here, sort of as you're doing it. You go ahead and climb down under here, and you're just looking for that orange wire to peek through. As you can see, it's peeking through right up there. So we'll just take our hands and go up and grab it. We'll pull it just like so. And we'll pull it straight on through, making sure it doesn't cut here. Go ahead and put the rubber back over the plastic. You can just use your hands and work it around it. And just go ahead and plug your connectors back in. Now you're going to want to make sure all your orange wire is pulled through. Take your hand and just clo start closing the door very slowly, not to pinch your hand in there, but it'll give you the room that you need. You can just slide it up just like so, and then you'll hear it snap in. 
Make sure that this boot doesn't get twisted around and then you'll just go ahead and put this back up. And then you're going to take the two T15 bolts and put them back in. The plastic retainer slipped off the metal clip right here. You'll just want to go ahead and slide that back on. You want to run the driver over to the passenger side. Make sure it stays out of the way of all the pedals. You'll see there's a little hole in the dash. You'll need to remove this trim plate. You'll just go ahead and pull firmly on it. And it'll pop out just like so. And then after you fish the wire through that hole, you'll see the wire will pop through. Just over here, you can go ahead and pull it through. I'm just going to run them around the bottom side of the dash so that they meet up here. Now the one from the driver's side, you're just going to go ahead and take the butt connector with the male disconnect and you're going to crimp that onto the end of it. I just want to go ahead and remove this access panel right here. It's held on with some body clips on the other side. You'll just carefully take your hand, sort of go behind it and pull straight out and it will all sort of pop off. You're going to want to install the T-tap. You're going to want to pull the wires tight for the passenger side and then tap it. We need to have just a few inches sticking out. So you'll put it in just like so. Slide it over. Wait until you hear it click. You should see it latch. Plug the male disconnect from the driver's side into the passenger side just like so. And make sure the metal tab goes actually into the T-tap. If you want to remove this connector, it'll be clipped in right down here. You can just kind of pry it out with a flathead screwdriver. And then you're going to want to use a test light to find out which wire is power. In the particular truck we're working on, it is this white with green stripe, but it may vary. The colors may vary from truck to truck. We do recommend using a test light or a voltmeter to check for this. After you have the passenger wire fished all the way up towards this connector right here, you'll go ahead and cut it off. You want to leave just enough so you can tap into that connector. And then you'll just set that off to the side, that's excess wire that you won't use. You go ahead and strip the end of this. Go ahead and put the buck connector on, crimping it down. And you'll want to shrink it down with a little bit of heat. You're going to take your T-tap and go on to the running light power wire that you found with your test light. And here it's going to be that white with green stripe. You're going to fold it over and clamp it down. I'll go ahead and plug your male disconnect into the T-tap. You'll just go ahead and install in the reverse. To get all the parts shown in this video and more, check us out at BoostAutoParts.com. Boost Auto Parts offers a wide range of tow mirrors, parts, and accessories for trucks and SUVs.